Kang fam, welcome back to the channel. Today we are leaving Finland. Before I move on with the vlog, please make sure you're already subscribed and you've clicked on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. So I don't know how smart it is to <laughs> vlog on the day that we're leaving Finland. It's always a busy, busy day whenever moving and packing is involved. But I feel like you guys would probably be interested to see how it is traveling around Europe. So I will bring you guys with me. I will be courageous <laughs> with this very, very, very important task. We are already almost done packing up. Sienna is already upstairs hanging out with the Carl fam. I am finishing up with like last minute things to put inside our bags. And then we're heading to the airport. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I don't know how. No, it's not. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're being recorded. Oh, yeah, it's under 32. What a miracle. Like, goals to 32. I've always been a light packer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've seen all my friends, right? So yeah, I've always been a really good packer. Let's not say light. I've been a really good packer considering that I'm packing not just for myself but also for Sienna. And we're actually here for a really long time. I don't know how this happened that I feel like we have more stuff now than when we came, when we arrived. And it was just so weird because like one luggage, an entire side had like a diaper full of, like you guys saw how much diapers I brought, right? And we have very little diapers left. But still, I don't know why we magically have more stuff. I mean, yeah, I got sent some PR stuff from companies while I was here. I didn't really shop, so I really don't know why. I, I, I don't know. I think it's also because I didn't vacuum pack everything. I should have vacuum packed everything. I need my sister out to you. Anyways, on to the next pack. How much is it? 17! Pops, that's impossible. 17 kilos left. I'm left there. How much did you buy back? Nope, nope, nope. You're right there. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Joanna. <laughs> More like, I'm sorry, Joanna. <laughs> So the last big bag is there. Now it's time for the and carry. Yeah, has what? Hey, you know what? Okay, crisis averted. We apparently have enough baggage allowance. Now the struggle continues with the Tetris that is how to make everything fit in the car again. Yanni already struggled the first time, so now he has maybe to. Took us half an hour. Took us maybe half an hour. Took him.
I should have started this three hours ago. Great success. <laughs> hey love, you're not supposed to be biting this. You're drinking it. Oh, there was a lot of bouncing. She liked it. We were running, running, but she was bouncing. My mama was running. So yeah, hopefully we made it. We have made it, right? Ten minutes. Ah. Oh. First one, look at the power batteries, only two batteries in the house. One special one, so that Now, uh, is all the package overweighted or only some of them? Because it costs more when it's more than 23. It costs more if it's... Yeah, more. because it's a heavy bag. I thought it's a total price. Mm -hmm. not so it's not total, it's this one. So it's... Each and every one is except the travel trip. Okay, yeah, yeah, you cannot move the kilos from another, it's still no space. Same uh, maybe we can less than one bag, but yeah, it's not bad, exactly. or better. But I don't know if you want to do it because it's... Uh, yeah. We have made it. The check-in already closed while we were doing it, or the baggage dropped, so she wasn't able to process everything, but uh, at least we're here at least. Hubs <laughs> one. Okay, so we made it. Thank God. A family tip for you guys. Make sure to have ample time. There's a lot of stuff that you need to do with the baby. So we were supposed to be super on time as well. But then uh, we had to make a pit stop because this one dropped a very stinky bomb on us. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you. You. Don't look surprised. It was you. And now everyone knows. Everyone knows, my love. No. <laughs> so yeah, so... Um, and then when we got to the check-in counter, apparently there's a different fee for heavy bags. And heavy bags for them is anything more than 23 kilos. So even if we bought extra baggage allowance, we still had to pay. So I said just pay because we're running late. And then um, with the security check, we also had to take out all the stuff like her milk, my breast milk, and then my frozen milk because we're also traveling with my frozen milk. So yeah, so lots, lots of delays. But we made it. We're now on the way to the line. I'm gonna take you guys with me. It's a pretty full flight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty full flight. There's no social distancing in flight, so everyone's like beside each other. It's a three hour, like almost three hour flight. The airport is very pre COVID time, so a lot of people. A lot of people, yeah, but yeah. We're also it's under construction, so that kind of puts people in the same area, so maybe it feels a bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's it's not full capacity because of the airport now, so maybe that's why I feel like it, there's a lot of people. I don't know if it's also because of the construction, but there's also no more chairs to sit on. Like they lessened it as well. I feel like it's also part of the construction, so people wouldn't really like. I don't know. I feel. Anyway, um, yeah, we're about to take off. See you guys in a jiffy. Admiring her beauty. Self love. Pores mm. inspecting the non-existing pores.
beautiful though. Before departure, we would like to focus on safety. Please follow this video closely as we will be demonstrating the safety features of our aircraft. Your safety belt is fastened by inserting the metal end you and me. Yeah, that's all I need. And I'll be So now we're waiting for our luggage. The hubs is gonna go get them while we sit here. So she wasn't sleeping the first half of the flight, but then after that, she slept. She also peed and pooped. Do two, two diaper changes for a three hour flight. Hi. <laughs> here comes our bags. Trolley? Oh no, our crib. We're just waiting for your crib, my love. Because you need a place to sleep. Boink! Boink! Boink, 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 boink! 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 Okay, got it. The crib is here. And now we need a trolley. Push? Really? All of it? All of it. Wow. Who is this? This one Hulk. is the one who doesn't want to pay for the trolley. Ah, there's payment. <laughs> ah, okay. We are here. We got to our transfer. Let's have to fix the car seat first. And then we're off to our apartment. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Apartment. We just got in. We met our host. We're actually her first guest ever. It was her first time to put her apartment on Airbnb. She's saying that she decided to put it there because it is like Milan Fashion Week and also like an arts uh, week as well. So she knew that a lot of visitors are coming. So she decided to put up her space for rent because she has another unit anyways. And this is the one that's here in the city center. And oh my gosh, it is beautiful. The hubs did well. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate. I'll show you guys the words. apartment later. For now, we need to change her real quick and and put her to sleep because it's already past our bedtime, right, my love? Yeah. Way past. Way past. So we've already put the love bug to sleep and right beside our Airbnb is a pokey restaurant. So we have our dinner 
Pokeballs for tonight. This apartment is really nice. Can't make promises. I probably won't show you guys tonight because <laughs> I'm so tired and I really want to nest and I don't really know how my schedule is gonna be now. Um, I am doing some presentations because now it's Milan Fashion Week so I will be attending a few presentations and some and maybe an event or two so it will be a kind of busy week for us. I didn't really schedule any shows. Um, yeah, no shows for now. Presentations, well at least it's, I feel like it's more safe as well because presentations are by appointment only. Don't really have to stay that long. So yeah. So there's a lot of things to prepare, so I feel like I won't be able to show you guys the Airbnb, but I will show you guys on my next vlog. Um, it's a very chic Airbnb. Our towels are Missoni. I saw right away when we went in. I said, oh, our towels are Missoni. Good job, Yoni Bug. Yoni Bug. Thank you, Camille Bug. Hmm. How is it like traveling around Europe during the pandemic? Well, you didn't see much of a pandemic in, on the plane. That was a full plane. No. But uh, of course, everyone is still wearing masks. Our uh, driver coming here from the airport said that the Italians are very strict about wearing the mask indoors. If you put it down, they will shout at you. I love. <laughs> <laughs> here, you still don't, like, uh, same as in Finland, you don't have to wear it outside. Mm. But when you're inside, always. Yeah, but and was... you can't go inside, like, for example, if you want to eat indoors, you have to show a proof of vaccination, which here in Italy is a green card or an EU COVID card, but they also, I think, okay with the internationally recognized ones. So we, like, we w. hope so. We hope <laughs> so, we'll let you know. On the plane as well, it's the same as in the Philippines, when they try to regulate the disembarkation from the plane, so they do it by rules. Although, I must say, the speed is also so fast, it's practically like, yeah, it was it normally. Yeah. Like, okay, rows one to three, up, and then when two people are out, okay, rows four to six, <laughs> we're like, oh, so we're still, it's the same. There's no but pause. But I guess it's, it's just to people are not at least standing on the aisle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, they should wait. If they want to isolate the rows, hypothetically, there was a case on the row four, so rows three and five get informed. But now, if that's the goal, that uh, you keep them all together throughout the flight, unless someone goes to the CR then it doesn't work if you keep shouting the row numbers before they are even out. Yeah, it's too fast. Maybe it's also the turnaround time of the plane, so they don't really have time for that. Maybe. Beautiful policy, but cannot be implemented. Mm -hmm. Our preparation for this trip was so last minute though, because I didn't really know if I was going to do fashion week. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to. So I didn't also prepare outfits. <laughs> I also shopped super last minute, like it came literally yesterday. And then I also didn't really fix any shows right away. So it's like all a mess because I didn't really know if I wanted to do any um, shows while we're here. but Or uh, any work, at least fashion week work. But Yoni kept pushing me, so I said, oh, I fine, let's do it. But yeah, everything was so last minute. Our flights was booked last minute. We don't even have a flight out yet. Like we don't. <laughs> Our Airbnb we booked also just two days before yesterday oh yesterday also as well so it's gonna be a wing it type of trip and it's nice to feel a little sense of normalcy no like what i would normally be doing if there wasn't a pandemic yeah actually be traveling it's one of the things that yoni keeps saying that it's so different like the mandate in finland and what i would assume also in the rest of europe is that if you're fully vaccinated you're young you don't have any autoimmune diseases or any like health issues live your life yeah that's, that's what that's the doctors are saying in yeah. finland which is so surprising like me i'm still <laughs> yeah <laughs> so in the news or in the news articles the doctors are saying like who comment on the pandemic all the time so basically these doctors who should know something about it so experts. they're yeah so COVID they're experts in your country as she said, if you're young, fully vaccinated two weeks after, just go live your life. Don't wall up, stay at home, because that's not how it's going to work. We have to learn to live with the virus. So now when there's a good coverage of vaccinations, if you are healthy, then just go about of your life. But then again, we have to consider because <clears throat> the landscape is very different. In Finland, like majority of the people are already vaccinated, so that's why that's their mandate now, and that's what they're recommending. But of course, it's very it's a very different scenario back home where a lot of people yeah. are not vaccinated yet, yeah. and there's a very very like high case of infection still. So 
it's just so surprising to hear this because you know we've always been hearing like don't go out don't go out so it's like it's so surprising that parts of certain parts of the world are already recommending this and already moving on Hmm. <laughs> but at least while we're here I'm happy that you know we not just for me that we kind of feel a little bit of like a sense of normalcy but also for Sienna because mm. like I know she's just a baby and she probably won't remember it but she was so happy like when we were in Finland and every time we are actually out like every time we travel as well she doesn't even remember that she needs to sleep like she's just always so happy and always laughing and everything so it's just it makes me, it makes me feel that she loves experiencing and exploring the world mm. and it's nice that she's able to and with that i'm gonna say goodbye i will continue on with our milan vlogs next one will probably be showing you our airbnb it's worth showing you guys except i'm just so tired right now so mm. <laughs> um i hope that you guys enjoyed traveling with us again we took you from Finland, now to Italy. Who knows where we're gonna take you next, but um, you just have to stay tuned for that. Make sure to leave a comment below and give us a 